So in this week's video, I wanted to give you an update on the pickup trucks that we've been working on. So I'm gonna turn it over to Rich from DeBoss Garage. Rich is our vice president in charge of pickup truck development. He's got some cool updates what's going on. So why don't we check that out? So along with our semi-truck prototypes, behind me we have one of two pickup truck prototypes. First one being this 95 Dodge Ram, which has the 2.8 Cummins in it, the generator, batteries in the frame rail, 60 kilowatt hours roughly, and two electric axles. What we've been able to do with this is be able to test this at the Automotive Science Lab at McMaster University in cooperation with ATES Incorporating. With that partnership, we were able to test this one at their facility on a dyno. We wrote specific driving simulations to uh, simulate driving through the city, driving through the flats, driving through the hills, and doing it with the trailer and without. All that information, we're writing a scientific paper on that to be able to prove the benefits of the hybrid system. This is the showpiece of the channel. If you've been watching DeBoss Garage and Edison Motors, you've seen the extensive work we've done to this truck. Beautiful frame, showcasing all the components in the frame rails, the electric axles, that instant torque. We're not putting an electric motor in front of a transfer case that's been done. We want to take it to the next level so you can feel that instant torque the second you put your accelerator pedal down. We're going to have the entire box available still, making this a fully functioning work truck. And while we're building this for one specific purpose, our second prototype is going a different route so we can combine everything we learned from both of those to build the best product that we can. This is the second of our two prototypes. Now this one's already running and moving behind me and that, as you guys all know, is the most famous pickup truck in the world, a four-door LC79 Land Cruiser. And we were commissioned to build this by a company who uses it specifically off-road. And it was actually the perfect truck to get running first because this truck is now getting all of the last coating done on it and then it will be shipped off to a third party where it will be tested in a off-road facility with a company that's well versed in hybrid and electric technology. While they are sorting out all of the different components on here, the offshore powering, the temperature control, regenerative braking, the engine running, intake temperatures, all of that fun stuff, while they're testing that in another facility, we're using everything that we're learning from this truck into the RAM. As soon as we have two well-functioning trucks, that RAM will finish its testing at ATIS at the Automotive Science Lab where we can get specific numbers and a scientific paper is being written on the benefits of hybrid technology in the way of emissions and fuel savings. Once that is complete, the RAM will be towing an Airstream from Ontario to British Columbia just to prove in real world conditions what it's like driving a converted hybrid pickup truck. So we're not the first ones to build an electric Land Cruiser, but I believe we are the first ones to incorporate the electric motors inside the axles. The advantage to that is we get that instant power available at the axles without having to do a lot of throttle mapping to save those U-joints. Your U-joints are still the weak part of putting an electric motor in front of a transfer case, and all of our trucks will have the electric motors in the axles, whether that's an independent suspension or a solid axle, we're working on that, but that also leaves all the room for the batteries in between the frame rails. So if you put an electric motor in front of a transfer case, even though it is easier, there is no room for the batteries and you don't get the benefits of all that torque of an electric motor. Now you see a lot of components in the back, that is the chiller that is in the back of the Land Cruiser that does all of the thermal management for the battery and for the HVAC inside the cab, but that is a unit off the semi-truck. That unit will be designed small enough to fit behind the rear axle and uh, your bed will be virtually free of components and still be fully functioning as a pickup truck box. It is the perfect unit to throw in the back, be able to test it out in the open, make sure that all of the components are the right temperature while we do all of this specific testing for our prototype. 
So Rich has been doing some absolutely incredible work there. It's gonna be awesome to see these trucks go through their testing. Make sure you go and follow DeBoss Garage. He's posting a lot of content on his channel with how those kits are going, and he'll be posting on how the kit works and any changes we may or may not have to make to the kit as we go through testing with lessons learned. So while he's doing a great job in Ontario, getting these kits out, while we do the testing, we're also gonna be looking at the economic feasibility of the kit and doing up our own chassis. We learned under our CMVSS certification, it's commercial truck above 10,000 pounds. What we could do is build them as an incomplete chassis where when you look at the amount of hours that we have spent cutting cross members, remaking cross members, fundamentally changing a lot of that works with how the axles mount, suspension, we realize it may be more economically and financially viable to just build the chassis. We could build it where we have a suspension on the rear, suspension on the front. We have those electric axles integrated and we just build a little set of frame rails that we could provide to somebody and they could take their body and drop it onto our incomplete chassis. While there still could be the option to buy the parts individually for somebody wanting to do the work, it may be financially more affordable for customers and our installers to take that incomplete chassis, drop their body on, and then send it out, which is something we can do under our CMBSS certification. That's an exciting option we're gonna be looking at. And as always, if you are interested in investing in Edison Motors, make sure you go to edisonmotors.ca. Investment options are open in there, and a lot of that investment options, or poor row seeds of that, will be going to fund the commercialization of the pickup truck kit. Now that we're going into our testing stages for the kit, we're gonna be learning and taking, taking the lessons we learned from that, taking some of the investment money and putting it towards making sure that we get the kits out to the people that ordered them. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out DeBoss Garage for all the future updates on this.